Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading for Leo. What are they not telling you? You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for July 2022. So we're going to take a look at the person that you're currently dealing with or the person that is on your mind. We're going to see what this person's hiding from you, what they're not telling you. And then we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come clean towards you. So um, you can apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Um, this could be with a new person, an old person, a current person. This could be with a friend or a family member, anybody. Okay, like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, so I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Leo, let's get started here. Tell me about Leo. person that Leo is dealing with or the person that is on Leo's mind. What is this person hiding from Leo? What is this person not telling Leo for July 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. I, I'm sorry if the music is, if the mic is picking up the music. Um, we have the King of Swords in the reverse. This person's keeping like a really big secret and I feel like this person doesn't want to say anything, okay? Because we do have that King of Swords in the reverse here. It could be dealing with the Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Let's see what else we have here. And the Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, wow. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo. Seems like this person's distracting themselves right now with work, with money. Seems like this person is showing you that they don't really have a lot to give or that this person's not sharing a lot with you. But from what I could tell, I feel like this person's in love with you here, uh, Leo. But I feel like they don't want to say it or that they're scared to say it. Okay? It seems like we have someone here that is seeing the potential of higher levels of commitment here with you. Um, you know, I feel like this person feels like it was unexpected that they caught feelings here for you, but they did. And now they're distracting themselves. Tell me about the King of Swords in the reverse here. Why is the King of Swords in the reverse here? All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. We have the Four of Wands and the Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I don't know. It seems like they pretend like they're uninterested, but I feel like, you know, they're they're in love with you. Yeah. I mean, this person definitely sees you in high regard. We do have that high priest uh, with the, uh, the, the, the uh, pre-empress energy there. Virgo energy. Tell me about the four of pentacles. And then the knight of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the eight of pentacles here, and the two of wands. I don't know. I feel like this person is trying to avoid telling you how they feel. You might be asking this about them, you know, asking them about it, but I feel like this person refuses to say it. It seems like this person's trying to dodge the question here. I mean, I feel like this, I see this person running around uh, like a chicken with their head cut off. So tell me about the Ace of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This person is showing that they're really inconsistent here too. Yeah. It's like this person's trying to push you away here. Yeah, this person's trying to push you away, Leo. Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? Tell me about this magician. Why is this magician here? All right, we have the nine of swords. Seems like it could be a situation that this person is stressed out, anxious, whether they can make it work or not. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
Let's see, will this person come clean towards uh, Leo? Will this person come clean towards Leo for July 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. I don't know. I feel like this person doesn't want to say anything because I feel like this person fears abandonment. This person does have like childhood trauma that they have never dealt with yet. And I feel like this is an individual, you know, I feel like this manifests in this person's uh, romantic relationships. It just seems like this person can't go deep. It seems like this person can't be vulnerable. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Five of Pentacles here, uh, Page of Wands, um, Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. I do feel like this person has been through a lot of pain. I do feel like it's a situation where, where this person has, you know, you know, maybe shown love or given love to somebody here. I feel like this person has been hurt. Yeah, many times. Tell me about this page of wands. Why is this page of wands here? Tell me about this page of wands. Why is this page of wands here? Tell me about this page of wands. Why is this page of wands here? All right, we have the hangman, Piscean energy, the five of pentacles here, and the six of cups. I do feel like this person is hung up on their childhood here. I feel like bad memories about their childhood. Yeah. I, I, it's not showing here, but I feel like this person has really deep, deep traumas and deep abandonment fears. Yeah, deep abandonment issues. And, it, and that's why I feel like this person refuses to communicate honestly, because I feel like when this person did, they were betrayed. Yeah, by people that were closest to them. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Five of Swords. Page of Cups. And the Chariot here. Cancer Energy. I do feel like this person is really going to keep dodging your questions about, you know, how they feel about you. But I feel like this person does love you. Yeah. This person does love you. Tell me about the Six of Swords. You know, the Ace of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. In the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. In terms of how they're gonna tell, in terms of how they feel about you, I feel like this person might not say it. Oh, this person's like bursting out the seams here. This person's like in love with you. This person's about to explode. I mean, they're keeping it to themselves. They're they're about to bur burst out, burst out the seams here, but. You know, I feel like this person might distract you with sex or something like that. Maybe this person doesn't show you emotionally, but maybe they show you in the more of a physical way. It seems like it, whoever this is, this person might be in their head a lot. Oh, Leo. Okay, this could be you. This could be the other person. Uh, maybe it's the both of you guys. Uh, but it just seems like this person is just scared. Yeah, scared to say anything because they're scared to get hurt. But I feel like this person has really deep emotions for you. And I feel like... You know, it's really hitting this person hard, really hitting them super, super hard. OK, so um, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, shit.